I feel a little bit like I'm in a Steve Martin comedy film. For the last three weeks I've been photographing planes, trains, and automobiles. Today it's going to be trains. Strasburg Railroad in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, photographing the steam trains. The Strasburg Railroad, I'm told, is the longest operating steam locomotive in the country. So let's go for a ride. I'm right here, just uh, half a block from the train station where the uh, steamer left. You can see it down here. I always like to get uh, some shots that come across these railroad crossings with the bells and whistles and the barriers going down. After I get the set shots, the long shots, the wide shots, I start going in for the detailed shots and see what we can find here. I see one shot here right in front of me, these uh, flowers, three pots of flowers on this uh, train cart. Let's see what we can get here. Now the question is how much to include in the, uh, in the picture. Do you do the whole, whole cart with the handle and the all the, the words on that are printed on the car or you just come in tight on the flowers. I'll probably do both and decide which I like best later. I see a shot here. This uh, train when it leaves the station, it's going in reverse and uh, comes back pulling the train like it's supposed to, like a typical train shot should be. But I see a picture here of these tracks uh, splitting right here. It's a good, good picture. I know when this train leaves, that engine is going to look like it's coming towards me, even though it's being dri driven away. So let's see what we can get. Whenever shooting this type of events, it's, it's almost like you're out treasure hunting. You never know what you're going to find. Uh, or fishing, you throw that bait in the water, and which is just being here, and uh, just keep your eyes open and uh, see what you can find. This water tank has some nice elements to it, but uh, I'm not too sure what I think about the tents. I like repetitive shapes, and uh, the flags are good, but in contrast to the water tower and the antique trains, I'm not sure how it works. The water tower just by itself though is a nice object, nice shape. I like the way the spout comes out. I like the, the uh, chain hanging down with a round hook on it. So uh, I'll shoot around a little bit, see what we get. Guillermo from the Dominican Republic. I asked him a moment ago, what is it about trains that's so captivating? What did you say? Well, I, like I say, they are very attractive. And, and the smell of the Whatever they use in the train, the, the tarp, whatever they use in the, and the, and the wood, to treat the wood, the, anything they use, it's some kind of smell, very attractive smell from the train. I like it.
engine is pulling this in reverse in the front and it makes a loop around and it'll back in here shortly and hook on and pull us back to the station. Well, that's it for trains today, guys. I want to thank you, everybody, for coming to the channel, and thank you, everyone, for the 100 subscribers. Today was my first day of being over 100 subscribers. I want to thank all of you for uh, adding to that and being a part of that. And it's the first rung on the uh, YouTube ladder of uh, achievement is that 100 yard. I heard from some folks that it's one of the hardest achievements to get is that first 100 subscribers, so thank you. So if you're not a subscriber, Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you.